Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tyler DeSantis and this is my YouTube channel. So, normally I do tarot readings, but okay. I'm going to talk to you guys about Kundalini today and about the Great Mother Goddess and about why I haven't been talking about this. Um, so, I pulled Tim Burtz this morning and I'm looking at it, right? And I'm like reading out of this book and it's like, The elixir of life from a golden vessel into a silver one into a continuous stream. And... So I had a, I had a, I think it was a Kundalini awakening. It, anyways, it was like a Kundalini awakening or I got baptized in the spirit, the Holy Spirit last um, September 8th, 2017, okay? So I'm driving in the car and the spirit washes over me and it's like water. But it basically opened my mind up to everything in the universe and told me like, basically, sorry to turn that on, but it let me see the connection and everything, like this thread that connects literally everything. It was like on the radio, the numbers, and it's never stopped. And people have said I'm crazy and all this shit, whatever. <laughs> Prove me wrong today. So that is what I consider like being reborn in the spirit when I had this love energy come to me. Well, last week, okay, this is crazy. So last week... I'm dating, oh God, I was dating this guy, and he was a freaking, I swear he was the man child. I read the Bible way too much. I was like, I'm losing it. But then we break up, and I go over to this guy's house, and I'm like, <sighs> it was like fire hit me. It was like I could breathe fire. I had this like feeling in my stomach, like my lower gut, like literally, it was like down here. It was like I could breathe fire. And I walk in, and there's like a dragon head sitting on his fucking table, and I'm like, Okay, so in this Inside Degrees book, my freaking Ascendant node is Capricorn 16, which literally is, it says like X marks the spot, um, a woman, a somebody digging for dragon bones. That's my Ascendant, how I ascend. And that's when I got this tattoo was for Ascension, okay? So the coincidences keep rolling. So anyone who wants to say, how many coincidences does it take to make... It not a coincidence. You guys tell me, because I'm going to let y'all know. Um, so anyway, so I see this guy, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on in my stomach? Why do I feel like this? I'm, like, burning. Like, I'm on fire. So I hook up with him, right? But first, I didn't hook up with him, okay? Because I was like... He had this silver necklace on, and it freaked me out. I was like, oh, no, I think I'm going to trade my gold for the silver, because I was, like, in this weird mental state, okay? Anyways, I couldn't help it. Like, my kitty was, like, throbbing. So, the next day, I end up fucking him. But I'm like, okay, wait. So, the spirit goes literally inside this dude's body. And his whole face and demeanor change. And he comes up the shower like... <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's that time. So, yeah. Anyways. So, I'm trying to process this while it's going on and I can't because my soul knows this person I'm hysterically crying I've only cried like this one other time and it was when I was on acid okay and it's like I don't know if you guys have ever done acid but the first time you do it you literally cry tears of joy and you're like shedding all this like gunk out of your soul or something it feels awesome like I felt like a jellyfish like <laughs> But I that's how I was crying hysterically like after this guy's Whatever and then okay, I'm gonna get really graphic with this video for a second. So I Don't know this person and I don't let people be doing no weird shit to me I don't let people be you know what I'm saying like we need a raincoat buddy But I was like, okay, this is Jesus Christ. I think I'm like, I'm whatever like this is what I'm thinking in my head It sounds crazy, right? <laughs> so he's like can I come in you so I'm thinking it's like you know when vampires like you know you have to knock on the door before you enter the house this is my temple this is my house I was like okay spirit come on in <laughs> that's so embarrassing but this is the truth I'm like okay um whatever come on so I let this random guy yeah and yeah but here's the here it gets it gets crazier okay so after this like we stop and then he goes and gets a drink he gets me ginger ale and a water then tries to put this necklace not this one but a necklace on me that was a skull like a silver skull and i was like and he's like it's real silver 
let me put it on you. And I was like, no, that's okay. I don't want to. It's okay. Because <laughs> I was still freaked out by it. So he goes and like, okay. So when he completely finished, the TV is on. And it's like this movie called Spun or something. This woman is like a stripper or something in a cartoon. And she's nailing literally Jesus's hands and feet to a cross and throws him down this dark pit and he's like Phew. and at that moment I'm like what did, what did I just do did I just fuck the devil like I don't know what, to do. <laughs> what okay so then he walks over to the window and he's like all this energy and then he leaves but before he left like before we even started he's answering my questions about shit that he didn't know about because i was talking to him about god and spirituality the day before he didn't know shit okay he's answering my fucking questions he's like oh yep the realms are real i'm like what what are you saying to me what are you saying i'm that's when i started hysterically crying and i never stopped the whole time but then he's like just telling me all these crazy things like I don't have to speak out if I don't want to like I need to find an extra the extraordinary in the ordinary and that I didn't have to like basically bear this cross or bear this burden or carry all this weight around with me and I was like because I've been thinking I had to do this for like over a year now <clears throat> so anyways there was a, a lot more crazy shit, but I'm not going to go into the details. You guys probably don't care. So after this, fast forward back to the ending where he's like, oh, the energy. Then he gets back in bed with me and he doesn't remember shit because I'm hysterically crying. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, you're my twin flame. <laughs> and I'm hysterical still. And he's like, what are you talking about? Doesn't remember anything. Nothing. Nothing. I was like, you just try to put your necklace on me. Where is it? And it was in the water. And I'm like, what the fuck? So then I'm like, oh my God. So I started watching Kundalini videos today. And la uh, that 2017 on September 12th, that's when Jim Carrey busted out that shit about no nothing's real, blah, blah, blah. And he had his meltdown and everyone thought he was crazy. Well, I had my awakening four days earlier and someone had sent that to me. So I was like, I'm not crazy. So that's my birthday, right? Okay. That's also how many years Seth lived in the Bible. So if you guys don't know who Seth is, he's the Avenger, which is Cain kills Abel, and God begot Seth, and so Seth lives 912 years. Okay, anyways. It's relevant. <laughs> but, moving on. So, today, I've been hanging out with this guy for, like, a little bit, but I'm like, I'm, like, I know you. Like, he says weird shit all the time. Like, try to wash my feet. I'm like, you are Jesus. <laughs> But it's not like, and to all my stuff adds up with the mother goddess. I'm not saying I'm the only one. I'm saying there's multiple, but I think that I was put here to speak on these things and be an avatar and be a spokesperson for the divine mother goddess. And when I watched this Kundalini energy shit online, it said like, literally like Isis Osiris, Shakti Shiva, jesus mary but the divine holy spirit actually comes to you like you have sex with the holy spirit like that's literally what i did it's fucking weird and that's why that thing of jesus was on the thing because it's telling people listen we're done with the masculine we're done psh, 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 psh. no more like it's not that we want the masculine to be lower than us that's not at all we're balancing out where the divine woman is not going to be like pushed down and oppressed anymore like she's going to speak the fuck up and i've had my mouth shut a really long time because people kept calling me crazy and i just had to remember who the fuck i was real quick and boss the fuck back up because fuck everybody like this is what it is this is my truth i've been studying this for a year i either know things or i don't know if i don't know i'll tell you i know it or i don't know it i have no reason to lie i've never been a liar like period so this has been my path my whole life. I'm like, why am I a slut? I don't know fucking why. Why am I a whore? I don't know why. But that's just what I was doing. Now, I'm not saying that's correct because I think you should be very precious with your energy. But it took me all this time of being a slut, a whore, an escort, a stripper, or whatever to get to this point where I'm like, listen, I don't think we should share our energy with this many people. It's getting a little out of hand, okay? Really. But with society and all this bullshit that we're going through it's like they want to suppress women and men because the sexual energy is so potent 
sexual energy literally, like, the world was created through source energy. Sexual energy is the only thing that's even tiny bit close to even being close to source energy. It is powerful stuff, people. So you need to be careful with your energy and watch who you're fucking because not only will you get the clap, you'll get a freaking family curse or something put on you. You gotta be careful. Or like a demon. You never know. Like, this shit is real. And I'm not just saying it to scare you. I'm just saying, we thought we only had to worry about clap, but now we have to worry about demons. <sighs> I don't know if this is real life anymore because two years ago, I was saying there is no God. But God literally had to behead us for the testimony of Jesus Christ. So when all the star seeds incarnated here, we lost our head. Or our pineal gland. Your pineal gland, your penis. We were circumcised. Get it? Head, penis. Y'all get it. So everyone who's waking up now is trying to fit all the pieces in wherever. And it's all confusing for all of us. And I've spent a lot of time reading the Bible, the Quran, the... What else do I have? Everything. From astrology to Buddhism to sexual shit to... I went to a Baba, which is an African religion. Oshun is my spirit. Who is Oshun? Oshun would be literally, um, Obatala is the main god in their religion, right? Obatala, um, Oshun is his begotten, like, manifestation of the love, right? Who is Oshun? <laughs> Oshun literally is the river, right? Or the fertile land. She birth spirits onto this realm so all women are literally portals your vagina is a portal to the spiritual realm so don't act like y'all wasn't spirits before y'all got here because you was so all these people who kept telling me like there's no spiritual there's only god doesn't shut up you don't know what the fuck god want <laughs> whether like people keep going to the church why are you going to the church if i sit here and rub a lamp and make a wish on my little genie wouldn't that be the same thing if I, my little temple, my little body, if I just patted my head and rubbed my tummy in and said, hey, can I manifest some shit? Can I meditate? You know what I'm saying? Like, rub your own belly. Rub your own, God's inside of you. The kingdom is inside of you. <laughs> if you want to get something, pray. That's masculine energy. It's outward. So if you're trying to, oh, sorry, it would be directed from God. So outward from God. If you want to get something, you pray. If you want to receive something, you meditate. You're open like a womb. That's why I'm saying we're here to balance this energy. We're not here to step on the mail. We're just here to say, hey, like, we're done having you step on us. Like, I'm sick of people saying women are emotional. Like, have you ever walked down the street and a man's called you? Hey, what's up, baby girl? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, you ugly anyway. And we're the emotional ones? Like, no, bitch. Come on. Come on. There's nothing worse than a man's ego and pride. If you even tweak it a little bit, I'm not going to talk about that, though. I'm not going to talk about how big babies men are. I'm going to go back to Oshun. So Oshun is literally, she protects, she, okay. <laughs> She's the virgin, or known as the holy whore. She protects prostitutes and babies being born she's the lady of charity <laughs> imagine that um it says uh african-american feminists who feel their goddess is being degraded by depictions of her as a prostitute these people are actually projecting their own prejudice and morality into the equation in reality prostitution has not always been viewed as degrading or immoral in fact the temple prostitutes including famous vestral virgins of ancient Rome have featured prominently in the history of ancient religions on and off prostitution. And it says, um, Pancha, Panchagara is la bella mulata on steroids, a woman very much in control who she chooses um, to bless with her sexual favors. Panchera is in no way a victim as those who object to her claim, but an empowered female who chooses prostitution on her own terms for her own gain. Ochun Panchagara has been an inspiration to women who, for whatever reason, have engaged in prostitution. She demonstrates that 
A human being's sense of self-worth need not be affected by what he or she does for a living. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> you can see her right here. This is Ocean. This is in the religion Ifa. Now, here's where people are getting really fucked up in their religions and all these, like, they want to make it. People don't understand a sliding scale. So, whatever happens on this little teeny miniature atomic level will happen on this, like, bug level, which will happen on an animal level, which will happen on a people's level, which will happen on a star level or on a uh, zodiac level, which will happen then on a galaxy level, and then in the God's realm level, and then, I don't know what's after that, but uh, the heavens of the heavens upon the heavens, <laughs> like, it keeps going. It's a sliding scale. And where we're in a spiral galaxy, okay, it's going to keep coming around because it's going to be his story history is his story so god was the invisible manifested the first okay and then from there here are all of us and i think it might even go like god was the mind who had the thought which made a vibration or a sound in the throat which then became a word and then manifest it into a person. That's why I think man is the number four. That's why he was created on the fourth day. This is why I think that, um, you know, in six days the world was created and on the seventh day we rested. But, <laughs> moving on. So, back to this dude. So this guy is my twin flame, period. He's just like me. He's kind of annoying, but I'm kind of annoying. So we match. <laughs> But, literally, this morning, we were like, I was like, dude, I think we're telepathic. So, I would write, I wrote down a couple, like, words, and he literally got, like, almost all of them correct. Like, one, I think I wrote down pig, and he said pie. But I'm like, that's fucking crazy. So, we got, like, four out of five of them right. And I'm like, we were just doing simple stuff. But everything we've been told is a lie. So, now we're embracing this feminine, um era because we're moving from the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius so it's going to be feminine again so everyone's going to be on this um level of niceness sweetness uh unity we're moving out of duad or duality and we're coming into unity we're making the two things one that's why I found my twin flame because your twin flame and this is why in the Bible people are like, oh, the Bible's an incest, blah, blah, blah. Listen, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because the Bible is actually really legit. Everything is legit. You can take any story, it's the same story. But let me tell you. So there's, say we have a pill. This is a pill, okay? One half is feminine, and one half is masculine. Or plus and minus, positive and negative, whatever. Everything in the entire universe has it positive side and a negative side or a receptive side and a direct outward side and technically if you look at it it's actually three it's always like two feminine like two circles to the left and one to the right or something like that because the world was a womb empty and then poof, we got um the light or whatever and god divided the light from the dark okay so when they divided the light from the dark that's splitting Eve and Lilith is what I'm thinking. Like, Madame is spelled frontwards and backwards. So the first Adam was actually a madam. Go figure. So daylight and evening, or Lilith and Eve, got split. Psh, that's where you got two bitches from. So they split her in the middle. This is also the story of Tiamat getting split by Marduk. Now Marduk comes in um, to divide them or whatever. So... I guess that's like pretty much how life goes, the masculine dividing the hose from the housewives, when really the housewives want to be the hose, and really the housewives' <clears throat> husbands are fucking the hose anyway, so it's like, and the really funny part about being a hoe, and when I say hoe is like an escort, for me, it's like looking in the ass end of society at people at their truest selves. Look at all the people in society right now. Who's not buying a hose? I'll wait, because even Donald Trump, like, hell yeah, like, Melania, the first lady, is even a hoe. Like, she, she's a house hoe, but she's still a hoe. She got wifed for a lot of money. Good job. I would still not. Donald Trump, 
No, I'm not hating. I'm just saying. But, okay, listen. It's like, people want to make it something it's not. When, like, I didn't have to do that. I'm smart. Very, very intelligent. Um, I can do whatever I wanted. I just, one, it's a lot of money, really fast. And I wanted to sit and study God. It's, when I was in fucking college, I literally took religion and sexology. I was an atheist then. Why am I doing studying religion? What am I doing studying in sexology? Who takes those courses? Like, if people think that God didn't give you a divine plan for your life and whatever you do isn't what you're supposed to be doing, you're wrong. Whatever you like to do, do it. And I've always been like that. Up until recently when I got into this Bible heavy and I was like, damn, it started to make me feel bad. And I don't feel like I should feel bad. But a lot of it is true. But you got to watch what people have twisted and turned. And the only thing that I have to go on is what I have inside. And that's the only thing for me I can trust. And that's the only reason I could read the Bible is because it related to me because I could see myself in it. And I was like, damn, this is me. Ooh, Babylon the Great, that's me too. Like, because all these people are incarnated. So it's like over and over and over. And it might not even be that they're incarnated. It might be that... There's only so many spirits here and we can only use one of these templates of spirits. You know what I'm saying? Because everything was created in so many days. There's nothing new under the sun. If you want to get something new, you have to go over the rainbow and get it from the etheric realm. Um, so I hope you guys are following me right now. I'm giving you guys a lot of information. I think I should probably stop this video here. Um... But yeah, so I'm super happy I got my fucking voice back. But if you guys have any questions, if you want to hit me up about whatever, I'm totally down to answer any questions. You can check out my website, tylerdesantis.com. Um, I just want to thank God for everything. And oh my God, it changed my life in so many ways. And it's so beautiful. And if you don't believe in God, still, like, look around, go, go do your sun and your moon sign, because when you start seeing, seeing, like, God within yourself, that's what's really powerful, that's what's really, um, life-changing, and I think that, in the beginning, was where I was fucking up, because I wanted to show people God in myself, because I didn't know how it went in them, so I was trying to teach them about me, but I'm like, they don't care about me, so it's like, you have to find God in yourself, and you have to want it, and you have to care, and you have to acknowledge God, and you have to um, be a decent person, I think. I, I mean, I'm not God, so <laughs> I don't know, but I know that if you do good, and you continue on your path, and you just try to do the right thing based on yourself and what feels good in your heart, and in the spiritual world, spirit, religion, and science go together, by the way. For anyone who didn't know. But in the spiritual, it's like, we know that the peak of enlightenment is seeing your, your, you in everything. There is no you. It's only everyone else. It's everyone. You are everyone. You are part of this divine plan and connected to everyone. Like a spider web or a weave, um, a web weaver, what, I don't know, something like that. So, if I don't like someone to do something to me, I'm not going to do it to somebody else. And that's where you get morals from. Like, don't hurt me and I won't hurt you. Don't steal my shit and I won't steal yours. But if you do steal my shit, I'm still not going to do anything because I'm just not that person. Forgiveness is the top thing that you can do to get your spirit back. If you've left your spirit in different places and shit, like through trauma, through bad relationships, through fucking a hard-ass life, just know you can call those pieces back, but you have to have room inside your vessel for your spirit to even come back. So make sure you're forgiving people. Don't pay people back with more hate. Darkness is not fighting the light. That's what people need to realize. This is what Martin Luther King said. He said, darkness doesn't drive out darkness. Only light can drive out darkness. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only light can drive out hate. Like the, the darkness is not fighting the light. The darkness is simply waiting for the light to arrive so it can leave. Period. It's like, where are you at, man? Like, hurry up. <laughs> But it's just patiently waiting. And as soon as you turn on a light in a dark room, where's the darkness go? It just goes away. It just vanishes. It doesn't fucking fight the light. It just goes away. So don't think that you have to fight anybody. Fighting people does not do anything. 
if you think it does, <laughs> let's check out the war on drugs, um, the war on terror, the war on, I don't, I don't know what people have the war on, I think they have war on hoes and strip clubs in Atlanta right now, but it's like, it only manifests more of that thing. If you don't like it, don't go there. Don't watch TV. Don't do drugs. If you don't like terror, don't be a terrorist. <laughs> pretty simple guys like it's not rocket science stop thinking of these things that you don't like because anything you hold in your brain for more than 17 seconds will manifest and if people do not know the power of manifestation boy I literally manifested a a fucking dog I was like god I'm not gonna want anything anymore or desire anything if I want something I'm not gonna ask you and then I'm gonna let it sit i'm not gonna i'm just gonna know it's coming and that's what i said and i was like three seconds later a dog is in the road and i'm like there's no fucking way and i'm like dog dog gets in my car best dog ever love her to death but fixed trained had a chip the owners didn't want her like god will literally give you your heart's desires but you have to be pure in intention want it because it, uh, with, for a legitimate reason and not think about it and worry and react and put resistance on your path if you guys want to learn about manifestation watch abraham hicks but i would suggest watching her and clearing out all this bad energy and all this negativity and all this hate and all this whatever and just moving on with your life so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video i'm really gonna shut up now i'm just so pumped about today so, I didn't even care what people think about this video. Like, judge, judge me, judge me. Fuck you, judge me. I don't care. <laughs> you guys have a beautiful day. And check out my fucking website, tylerdesantis.com. And check out my tarot videos for your sign for the month. Bye.